Hi, my name is Scott and welcome to a new video. All the leaves are brown and the sky is grey. It is autumn and I don't know why but my brain associates that with drifting cars around dirt and gravel trails. I'm of course talking about rallying and I think the developers of Dirt Rally 2.0 had the same idea as I do because they included a full rally stage in the season's team completed with all the golden leaves trees you could wish for. So today I'm taking my favorite car in Dirt Rally 2.0 around that course. It is the Porsche 911. I just love how you can just throw that thing around and feel like you're either God or about to die after every corner. It is also a very peculiar car to see around a rally stage and just for that I think it's really worth it. Now would I take this car if it wasn't a Porsche? Well, probably not, but that's just part of it all. So today, this is what does it take to survive a rally? It'll be extremely difficult for me to commentate this live. So there is going to be that. I'm going to do a little bit of a report after the three, three stages. Two, one, go. We're on the way. Six left of a crest. Difficult conditions here Extra long, to start with. 30, four right. Into six left of a crest. Extra long. Tightens at three of a crest. Ah, already too hot into here. Gonna need to concentrate more if I want to make this a good into cut rally. Right long. Opens. Before we get into what happened in the first couple of stages of this rally, I want to talk a little bit more about the premise of this video. I didn't want to make this about trying to be a professional rallyist, but much more about an introduction to rally, as if I was an amateur rallyist going for a Saturday and Sunday, well, weekend drive, let's say, in my favorite car on a uh, little bit of an amateur rally, let's say. Slow 30, turn cut for left, into hip and right, around bales. 50. Six left. Uh, what's not so good? 20 of a narrow bridge. Six left long. So I only did two recce runs uh, very quickly and uh, without too much looking into where the, the road is going. Not very much practice. And that means that it's going to be very tough for me to be competitive. The AI is also not set at the highest level, but I think they are still very good. And well, it reflects pretty well how it would be like if this was my very first rally rallying against people who have a little bit more experience even in the amateur scene. Cut. It's extra extra long. Left over crest long. to five right of a crest and tightens. Now that that's out of the way, uh, let's talk about how I did in the first three stages. The first couple of stages were very tedious for me. I had done reconnaissance, but I had done it in the dry and the trails were looking very wet indeed. That meant that the car felt a lot heavier, the terrain was more difficult to navigate and I had to do a lot of work to try and find the right line through the corners. The only thing that I wanted to avoid, of course, was to get off track and make mistakes, but it was inevitable with the little practice that I had done and with the state of the trails. Do I get point for reverse entry? <laughs> that was pretty dumb of me, pretty big risk. The rest of the rally is gonna get even more difficult as the night kicks in and as the rain intensifies, but normally the weather should get better at the end of the rally. Oh wait, no, that's not it. Here. 120. Six right long, Titans five. Into four left of a crest jump. 100 of a crest. Finish into four left long. Oh. 50 to stop. Close, close. Now, not only did I make little mistakes here and there, I also made a very, very big mistake 
in the very first stage. Keep left of a crest jump, 120, crest jump, and five right. It does six left, don't cut, 100. Keep middle of a crest, oh. big jump, 40. Oh. Fuck, I think I destroyed the car. Ah. Oh. Yeah, come on. Oh. I had to change the tire. God damn it. See, that's where Four experience on, really comes into play. Opens. I got lost in the nodes there, and I thought that there was a 6 left coming up, but there was still a 5 right to navigate because of that. I went straight on, and I was very lucky to not completely destroy the car, because at those speeds you can very easily DNF out of the race. We had to change the tire, lost one minute, and we'll have to drag that deficit until the end of the rally, unfortunately. The next two stages could only get better than this, I still made a couple of small mistakes here and there, but overall we kept out of trouble and uh, we actually gained a little bit of time on the guys in front and well, I was pretty happy with what I did. But now the real challenge was about to begin as some very dark rainy clouds were hanging over us and night was about to kick in. Night stages are extremely scary and it's even more difficult to find reference points and to understand what your co-driver is talking about. Now I do believe the game makes it a little bit easier for you by making the AI a bit slower. I at least found that I could much easier follow them through or follow their pace at least. Into five right of a crest, Titans 30. Right of a bump at sign cut. And the further we went into the night, the faster my times were compared to the AI. I even managed to beat a lot of AI drivers once the rain had eased off a bit. At the end of the night, the trails were looking a lot drier than when we started, and I found a lot of confidence that I could push much more with this car now. Six right, 120. Four left long, opens 100. Flat right of a crest, 120. Keep left. I was positive that on the next day, once all the clouds had been washed away with the winds, I would be very competitive and could possibly not finish last, which would be amazing, after what happened in the very first stage. The sun rose and we had another very long day ahead of us. Six stages were left in this rally, but thankfully the sun was shining and the trails were dry for this last leg of our journey. The eye started picking up the pace a little bit and so I tried to do too. Made a couple of mistakes, but thankfully never broke the car. I kept it in one piece and I was very lucky a couple of times because it's very easy to lose the back end of this car. I should have maybe looked into maybe some kind of setup, but I really wanted to get the raw experience of uh, an amateur rally, rally enthusiast coming into this hobby. Keep middle of a 150. Caution, four left of a crest narrow. 30. Keep middle of a crest. 50, five left. Three stages before the end, we reached our last service stop and we decided to go for a little bit of a bold strategy. We had nothing to lose, so why not go for soft tires and hope they would make it till the end of the rally. 
maybe we would be able to get the guy in front of us and at least finish one place ahead of the last person still standing in this rally. So we went ahead, pushed on very hard, made another couple of mistakes and there were even a couple of ones that were maybe not so realistic and you wouldn't really uh, walk out of and uh, be able to keep going in the rally. But thankfully this is only a game and we could push on. Right, 80, turn one right long of a double junction. Opens into six left long, tightens, turn, happy left. Opens flat of a crest long, 30. Six left, and turn four right. 40, six right of a crest, slow 50, turn very tight, happy left. 30. Four right long, opens 90. In the end, I don't really want to spoil you guys what happened and what our results really were. So I'll leave you with the onboard of the end of this rally for you to discover my reaction to our finishing position. Unseen, very tight air in right. 80, six left, opens 70 over crest. Caution, oh. turn five left over crest. Into six right long, opens 80 over crest. I'm an idiot. Fuck. <laughs> Why did I do this in the last stage? Oh. Five right and Titans turn one. Long opens. Twenty turn one left long of a double junction. Eighty. Turn two left. Into three right long. Twenty turn one right. 80, turn square right, 100. Turn one left. 50. Five right. Into five left, opens of a crest, 80. Cut, five right. Into six left of a crest long. 50 of a kink, 5 right, into 6 left, and keep middle of a crest, into caution for right tightens, opens of a crest, stay middle of a 180, 4 right long, into 3 left, Extra long, Titans two, past junction. Yeah, the soft tires are. Into four right. Aren't helping us so much today. Into six left, opens of a crest, extra long, Titans four. Previous stage it felt amazing, but now. Into six right, 50. Tires are basically gone. Six left, 50. I think. That's the end for our uh, Six comeback. Over crest, extra long, Titans 30, over finish. Six right, to stop. We'll see, we'll see. I don't think uh, that's looking too good, but we had a hell of a race anyways, and uh, that bit good, by bit we came back. Check the times. Because of our massive mistake in the very first stage, Oh, actually not last. We get him! We got him, boys! Okay, we're ahead of the other, uh, well, the other last Porsche, let's say. They're finishing 17th after 
12 stages. Honestly, I had a lot of fun doing this. I uh, really enjoyed this. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching me uh, struggle all along. How, how difficult is it really to uh, win or to, well, survive, let's say, a, a rally stage, a rally, a full rally? Um, I think it's more difficult than Pike Speed has moved on. But I think the Indy 500 might be uh, a bit harder. Um, now I'm of course talking about doing it in dirt rally, not in real life, because I, I have no idea how difficult, different uh, it really is between the game and, and real life. But uh, I don't know. I think I think it's 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 sitting nice just behind the Indy 500. I had a lot of fun, and I think I'm gonna do that again, but on a different stage. And why not do the Monte Carlo, actually? I think I might do that in sometime in the future. If you want to see that, don't forget to subscribe for more sim racing content. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. And I'll see you space racers next time. Goodbye.